Hey, we are Five After Midnight, and you're watching ThatGrapeJuice.net. Great. Why the name Five After Midnight? What does it mean? So, originally we were called 5am, mm -hmm. okay. um, because we always used to like leave studio or like rehearsal spaces around 5am, mm -hmm. so it was kind of like a joke at the time, and then it just kind of stuck. Um, and then during the show, we had copyright uh, complications with 5am, so we're like, we still wanted it to be able to abbreviate to 5am, mm -hmm. so we just stretched it. Midnight. Yeah. So after, after is there like a unwritten rule where it's like you can't leave studio until 5 a.m. No! <laughs> nah. So you have to be in there no, until 5 a.m. No, it's not the opposite. We're now waking up at 5 a.m. Yeah. instead of <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Jesus. Sick, sick. So it's coming up to you years since um, your time on X Factor. Mm -hmm. How would you wow. describe your time since then and how have your worlds changed? Sure amazing, amazing, I would oh say. Is that like a new word? Then? Sure You're amazing. Let's say no. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing gigs, writing, um, obviously working on the album. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've got rehearsals, we've got stuff coming up this week, mm -hmm. really important stuff, especially on Friday, so mm -hmm. I'll just let that get into it. You know. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, Literally. busy. Literally. Okay, cool. How would you describe your album? It's still in progress. It's still in progress. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's it. <laughs> it's still in progress. Like, yeah. um, I'd say, like, the single is a hint to the vibe of what we're going to be like, but mm. um, obviously you don't want the whole album just to be one style all the way through obviously do you know what I mean there's three different personalities so you want it to like change up like throughout the album so do you know what I mean like we're aiming to get it out like end of this year but mm. we're obviously gonna, we've got to get it right before we release it first you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so as long as it's right then it will come out when it's come out when it, when it comes out S speaking about the single the new single up in here yeah. you know, in here yeah. <laughs> how did you know like this was the song to introduce yourself well when we came off the show we went to the studio and you know emily k and ray had seen us on the show and they were excited yeah. to work with us mm -hmm. so you know we put it all together we all jumped in the studio and you know there's loads of different samples going on and and the dmx one literally was like yeah mm -hmm. this is it this is it because you know we we really feel like it represents who we are because it's a, a fun uplifting record it makes you want to dance mm -hmm. with we like to think of ourselves as the party starters and that's okay that's a party record you know that's what i mean definitely a trend that would catch on to be honest the party the starters. party starters every time you're in a club or a party you have to hear 5 a.m of course. Pretty much. So. It's, it's just like going to a Raven Home bashment, so. Okay. Let's <laughs> help. You are like your inspirations right now. I'm sure everyone has like an individual person that mm. they look yeah. up to. Obviously, the legends, like, goes without saying mm. Michael, Stevie Prince, Motown. Um, for me, Justin Timberlake, like, massively, he's like the reason I started dancing at all. Um, Chris Brown's music and, you know, Usher yeah. as well. Is it like the same for you guys as well? Uh, same, but obviously like slight differences in that. Um, for me, like one of my biggest would be Usher, um, Neo as well, who's like such a beast. Like for so many mm -hmm. years, I've just been listening to the guy like nonstop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Neo is probably like one of my top. Sure, I've never really said Usher. Yeah. Like, I've never given him as his credit as, as much as he should. He's a, he's but, you know what? Without, he's without Usher, there would have been no Chris Brown. Mm. There's no one to look up to after that. So I would say yeah, Usher, Chris Brown, like that kind of feel. Uh, Music's all child. But um, <laughs> yeah, like that's music, obviously. But like in terms of the whole performance, yeah. Okay, cool, sweet, fantastic. Um, X Factor have birthed like a lot of really great stars, like Little Mix with Harmony. Mm. How would their inspirations, like to their success, been to you, like knowing that could you do it, be in the same light, or even? Wow. Um, oh, little Mix is just dominating right yes. now. Yeah, so yeah. Like, still going. <laughs> Have you heard like the new track with Stormzy? Yeah. Yes, yeah. power. Oh, oh, my oh, days. Like, 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 breaking out. Like, like, breaking out. <laughs> wow. Literally. For sure, but I feel like it took them quite a bit of time. But for you guys, I feel like some things might just gel a lot more quicker. I mean, yeah, that's the thing, because like at the moment, like there's like a handful of girl bands that are out for like at the exactly. moment like there is a slight gap in the market for a, for a boy band that's, that's like us do you know what I mean so mm -hmm. I feel like with that being missing like do you know what I mean people are looking for it more mm. I think in a sense yeah so sure. if you was like to pick one that you would collaborate with out of Little Mix of Big Harmony who would it be and why I'd say Little Mix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just because of the UK. Like, it seemed like the UK. Yeah, like, this isn't like everyone was on point with that one. I Fifth think, Army, I think incredible. Fifth Army, like, they're, they're incredible. But, mm. um, you know, like with the complication of, you know, thingy leaving and stuff like that. Not that it hinders them or anything. It just, I'd see like Little Mix. It's still a band. It's yeah. in the same band. They're UK. They're our UK. Mm. We could uplift each other. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Rather than going to an American artist, which I always do say because I always wanted to collaborate. Okay. With a few American artists. Well, you guys seem a lot united, obviously, to the public. 
But mm. behind closed doors, what kind of issues do you lot have? Or like anything? Who snores on Journey? <laughs> Admit it to that one. Yeah. <laughs> he talks in their bed. Is there anyone that just farts randomly when? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> I mean, uh, to be fair, like we don't actually have that many like issues at all. Like they're mm. that Very big. Minimal. Like oh, it takes too long in the shower mm. or late or like <laughs> stresses too much. Like mm -hmm. it's. Minimal things like minimal things. Actually, stuff that you'd argue with family about. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, real like minimal stuff. Okay, cool. Do you guys have any plans of going international? Of course. US? of course. Of course. We want to. Uh, we want to be global. I think Simon's been talking to us via like back and forth or like record label wise. They have that, that is their end goal. But right now, obviously, concentrate on the UK. So. That's the thing. Yeah, you got you got to dominate like your home territory before For you sure. go anywhere else. You know what I mean, sure. so. Yeah, and I feel like the UK right now is really in a good space, so they're more Definitely. receptive to that like, cool. homegrown mm. talent. Especially in, in like everything coming through, like even underground grime and stuff. Like yeah. everyone's just branching out and listening to so many different styles yeah, of like music. A little bit, not yeah. not massive, but yeah, yeah. A little, I, like I like grime. Song. I like grime stuff. Yeah, yeah. I like grime stuff, yeah. but yeah. definitely so feel like we're we're global. We're trying to make our sound international so yeah. we're not just it's not just a UK sound that can go to America and compete with the people like Chris Brown and mm. stuff like that we want to attack everyone. world is your oyster. So we're going to play a quick mm. game. Okay. Right. And we're going to use the, your name okay. after midnight. And um, we're going to, you, you guys ready? Yeah let's go. Right, let's cool. do it. First game. It's five after, mid, five after midnight and you can only speak to either your bae or bandmates before bed. Who do you bae. <laughs> hands down. Babe. 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 Yeah. Not even no brotherly love like me. I don't even. Yeah, yeah, but I, if I see if I see his, like his, these uh, these fools in the morning, like yeah. I'll speak to Bay at night. Or <laughs> <else>. <laughs> Amen. Fair enough. We got another one coming. Um, it's five after midnight. You can request one song before the rave ends. An early rave. What would you have the DJ play? It's gonna be different, so. Wait, are they the early stages of the rave. No, no the very last song. The last song. Oh, of the night. <laughs> what song? I would say <laughs> to make it all awkward, candy. Candy? Okay. I would have said PYT, Michael Jackson, to be fair. See, part of me want to say up in here, yeah. but I'll probably go with um, <laughs> Anti Up by MOP. Okay. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that's yeah, just cool. too much, like, do you know what I mean? Very like, different. Mm. Very different. <laughs> I think my last song will be up in here then. So it's it's like, ah, okay. I like that, I like that. Alright, yeah. the last one would be um, it's five after midnight. You've turned your album in, but the opportunity comes to collaborate with either Beyonce or Rihanna for a final track. Ooh! <laughs> Wait, you say that again? And if Rihanna sees this, you've got to mess me. You know, so <laughs> pick one. Wait, wait. <laughs> I would final moment. I would say. About to submit your album. About to submit your album. Last track comes, and you have an opportunity to collaborate with either Beyonce or Rihanna. Okay, can I say it? Who. Okay, oh god. Right. Wait, I'll, 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 <laughs> kick, this, I'll, I'll kick this off. Prince. Wait, I'll kick this off, yeah. Wait, let me, I'll kick this off. Because as much as I literally love Beyonce and she's like such, such an animal, animal, such an animal, I would go with Rihanna. Rihanna? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'd have to. I would I would say Rihanna. Yeah. And no offense to Beyonce, I love her to bits. It's just that where you can see the ratchetness and the vibes more, like, <laughs> you can definitely see uh, like London 5 after midnight with Rihanna. Queen B. Be. Because I like to be different. Performance. <laughs> yeah. Performance yeah, would be ridiculous. Yeah, be exactly. It's that mad. It would be, bro. Yeah. Get out. Like that'd be it's mad. But then, what? But then, who would people listen to? I know everyone listens to Beyonce. Beyonce. But then, right now, if a Rihanna track came out, I'd be like, yeah, Rihanna, I'm running to Rihanna. Mm. If Beyonce came on, you'd still go to the Beyonce See, record. Yeah, true. You Do you know, really if I was to be the fourth member of this, I'd slightly try to put both on. I'll put yeah, yeah. What, I'm like, I'm take a verse, take a chorus. I didn't want to be that guy. That's I did not want to be that guy. Like, I would have to have um, be, uh, Beyonce doing like a little harmony part <laughs> and then Rihanna what? just doing much better. Have something different. <laughs> you know what I mean? That would break everywhere. Exactly. It's true. So, yeah. That's taking over the world, man. You guys have been amazing. Thank you.